हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज साइली बिल्ले फ्रॉम ए एस एस एम एस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज टेक्निकल बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ आईओटी इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज आईओटी एंड व्हाई वी यूज दैट एंड व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ आईओटी सो वी नो दैट आईओटी इज अ रियलिटी मिलियंस ऑफ आई प्रोडक्ट्स हैव बीन डिप्लॉयड रेंजिंग फ्रॉम होम टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल एंड एंटरटेनमेंट to security and industrial control but this is just a new beginning of this age and the market projected to grow exponentially over the next few years so uh, first of all we should know about what are the technical building blocks of iot so as you can see the diagram so there are four building blocks of iot so let's start with the sensors processors gateways and applications so either you can use the sensors or actuators like it is the front end of the iot devices or uh, in the iot things are nothing but the sensors we call it so one by one we will see now the each and every technical block so first is sensors or you can use the actuators also so it is the front end of the iot devices these are called as a things of the system and the main purpose of this is to collect the data from the surrounding or uh, to give the data to its surrounding okay so basically the data collection work is done by the sensors these have to be uniquely identifiable devices with a unique ip address so that they can be easily identifiable over a large network and each and every sensor or each and every actuator has the unique id so that it can be tracked very easily if you are deploying the iot devices in a wireless sensor network that will be get uh, easily identifiable or you can monitor that devices or sensors uh, so uh, easily that's why a unique identification is needed for the sensors then it is able to uh, collect that real time data and this data can either be autonomous in nature or user controlled uh, examples of the sensors are gas sensors water quality sensor moisture sensors etc now the next uh, building block is processor processors are main i mean it's the brain of the iot you can say processors are primary real time devices that can be readily um, manipulated by the software these are also in charge of data security which includes the data encryption and decryption the main function is to process the data which has been captured by the sensors extraction of the valuable data from the huge amount of raw data which is collected that is the intelligence to the data means it is providing the intelligence to the data which has been collected by the sensors see huge number of data has been collected by the sensors and we are not interested in huge amount of data we are relate, we are we are in a need of the um, intelligent data which has been collected by the sensor so the extraction of the valuable data is done by the processor processors mostly work on real time basis and are easily controlled by applications and then it is also responsible for securing the data uh, performance of the encryption and the decryption of the data and then uh, it can be the embedded hardware devices uh, microcontrollers or that is what we use for the processing of the data uh, here um, we need to convert the data so here we are using electronic conversions uh, that is analog to digital converters that is adc on a printed circuit board that is pcb which translates information from the pressure sensor into a format that can be digitally transmitted uh, then transmission uh, the binary value capture from the sensor is encrypted for security reasons or should be encrypted and it is sent from one on site computer via an internet to a remote cloud computing data center so this is what the main uh, building block of iot that is processor now we'll go to the next um, technical building block of iot that is gateways gateways are responsible for routing the processed data and send it to the proper location or for its proper utilization that is gateways is a device that is used for the basis analysis basic analysis of data which is coming from connected sensors and the gateways are responsible for routing the processed data okay in other words you can say uh, the gateways help in to and fro communication of the data it provides network connectivity to the data 
network connectivity is essential for an iot devices or iot system to communicate with each other so gateways helps into uh, the communication of the data and uh, examples of uh, gateways are lan wan pan and uh, both microcomputers and microprocessors can be used as a gateways for iot applications so this is what the third building block of iot now the next is a applications see whatever the data has been collected what is the processed and it has been sent through the gateways but to deal with that uh, data or to have the analytical data so how we are going to connect with our other devices is application so applications are essential uh, for proper utilization of the all the collected data applications from another end of the IoT system you can say it the front end is the sensors and the I mean another end of the IT system is the application uh, these cloud based applications which are responsible for rendering the effective meaning to the data collected applications are controlled by users and are delivery point of particular services uh, you can have the examples you can take it as a home application uh, home automation applications security systems industrial control hub anything uh, which was uh, application in we can take it and uh, for like if you consider the applications as the technical building block and there is again data storage is also considered after reaching this particular application or a sensor value is typically stored in a computer database that can be easily serve other systems so that's why we call it as a server which is serving data store on the server which may be either local or cloud or it can be both depending on the uh, volume of the data which has been collected by the sensors so this is all about the technical building blocks of iot thank you